if you are into or getting into mechanical or speed jigging, then it's best to tie your own assist hooks. Although factory fitted types can be satisfactory when starting out, it's not until you lose a few fish due to rigging that tying them yourself becomes priority. The following method is easy to do and requires a few items consisting of Kevlar cord size M, hook size 11, ring grommet with heat shrink and super glue optional and a good pair of scissors is needed for cutting. Start by grabbing a hook and cut a length of doubled Kevlar that is about the correct size for the jig. This is about one third the length. Pass the tag ends of the cord through the hook eye from the side facing the point. Holding the tag and the hook together helps keep it tidy. Now rotate the cord loop back and across the hook shank so it sits behind the eye. Move the cord back around the hook shank and then up through the loop formed. Now firmly hold the hook shank and tag ends then slowly pull the cord loop to pull the knot up so it's firm. Pass the cord loop back through the hook eye. To finish, pull up and tighten fully. This knot is basic but will not slip and can be used as it is. However, I prefer to ensure it's secured even further. This is done by adding a few drops of super glue, then covering with heat shrink for protection. In terms of attaching your assist hook to your leader and main line, instead of using a solid ring that can cause the leader to fail where it's attached due to contact with the split ring while the jig is being worked, the best way to prevent this from happening is by using a ring grommet and will protect the leader where it's joined. This is done by attaching the leader using a chain knot with the leader sitting in the grommet. Attach the assist hook's cord loop to the small solid ring, not the large ring that has the grommet. Do this by inserting the cord loop through the ring, then open the loop and pass the hook through it, then pull up tight. Now attach split ring to the large ring attached to the grommet, and the rig is ready to add a jig. For something with a bit of extra attraction, a small skirt can be added so it sits on the hook and using different colours with Lumo eyes can work well. Want more information, how to's and articles on fishing, kayaking and more? Then head on over to the NZ Kayak Fishing Patreon channel and sign up for exclusive content only available through this channel. Oh, what a ripper of a fish it was!